CM Punk wants to make an AEW comeback, plus a title match has been announced for AEW Dynamite next week, and WWE are planning another SummerSlam Dream match. Find out what it is in the news. The twists and the turns of the CM Punk AEW saga continue. You've seen the title of the video. I imagine you might have rolled your eyes a little bit as well. <laughs> and that's okay. That's okay. Uh, CM Punk flavoured news as it pertains to a possible combat with AEW. What have we got from where? We have got from Fightful Select. Punk has laid out numerous scenarios in which he'd return. Among those includes a willingness to work with Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. However, we've heard that at least as of a few months ago, Omega and the Bucks did didn't seem keen on doing that for obvious reasons. Punk has also expressed his willingness to return to work for All Elite Wrestling and keep completely separate from the Elite along the way. In addition, we're told Punk has been open to working elsewhere, though we're not sure if that means Ring of Honor or the likes of WWE and New Japan Pro Wrestling. Dax Harwood stays in contact with CM Punk quite a bit and he updates us on, on his podcast and, and says that CM Punk does miss wrestling and mm -hmm. he is keen to, to find a way to get back to it once once again, uh, settle differences with uh, the elite. And as it was said there, kind of he's happy to come and work in with them, <clears throat> according to what uh, Fightful Select have said there. Mm. But he's also happy just to come in and keep his distance. Yeah. And with the arrival of uh, AEW's rumored new Saturday show, which I think might be called AEW Collision, we mm. haven't had a confirmation of this yet. Uh, it could easily be a case of like he works a separate touring oh, maybe actually, group yeah. to the elite. That's a good point. Um, I feel as though it it feels rather smart to me in terms of this news coming out when uh, AEW announce a huge show in the UK. Um, possibly for many people then to to hopefully buy a ticket and see CM Punk on the show in some capacity. Um, and it, sh it shows that CM Punk at least wants to come back. He's happy to just, as it says in here, keep himself away if that's the best thing. He just It seems as though he just wants to get back into the wrestling. And if that means not really having a program with the people that he maybe, you know, has, has, has possibly burnt bridges with or, or just doesn't, you know, the people who don't want to work back with him, fair enough, as long as he just gets back in the ring. CM Punk keeps us guessing on Instagram he as does. well. Uh, he shared a picture of Rocky Balboa with his face over the top of it. <laughs> I think he's seen Rocky now. Uh, and this is, comes back to the Rocky-esque storyline that John Moxley pitched ahead of All Out in Chicago last year that you know was we, that was quite quite heavily discussed mm. a few weeks back. Uh, in an interview this week, as we say, Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler uh, say they're in constant contact with Punk and also say that a, a match pitting FTR and Punk against the Elite at Wembley would put AEW would send AEW to the next level. I genuinely think that people are like, going, there's a lot of people going, can AEW sell out Wembley? Um, I think if you do a show that features Sting, mm -hmm. who hasn't wrestled in the UK for decades, mm -hmm. and you make it the night that Punk comes back, yep. I don't think it's an issue. No, I don't I really either. don't. I think I think you've got it in the bag if that's the thing. And, and as I was saying in the last uh, in the last news video, it feels like AEW are really starting to uh, set everything in motion for the summer ahead with yes. the, the books obviously coming back, we've seen Jeff Hardy come back as well. It feels like they are finally like getting all the cogs turning and uh, and are looking very much towards the future of, of, uh, of the company and the big marquee shows that they've got in store for us. I tell you what, wheels aren't turning at the moment, Andrew. What wheels? The ones on Powerhouse Hobbs' car. Oh no, they certainly aren't, Tom. <laughs> Let me tell you what's going on. The TNT title will be defended next week on Dynamite Powerhouse Hobbs, but putting it on the line against former champ Wardlow. Yes, Wardlow is back once again, everybody. After Hobbs defeated Silas Young in an open challenge last night, it was a squash. It was more squash than Robinson's squash. <laughs> Wardlow made a shock return and destroyed Hobbs' new car. Now, I think we all should have seen this coming because Hobbs came out in his fancy car. He put, he put, he put the velvet, he put like the velvet, uh, the velvet line thing, the velvet, whatever it's called over it. 
in front of the car, but like the sides weren't <laughs> the sides weren't really protected. <laughs> he only protected the front of the car. He did. He did. Foolish. Which foolish. was foolish of him because uh, Wardlow came back and uh, absolutely destroyed the car with a forklift, pops it through the windows, flips it over. I think at one point he even gets out of the forklift and kind of forgets to maybe like turn it off because it just rolls forward <laughs> into the car. Uh, and this led to a brawl and Aaron Solo getting put through a table uh, soon after the match was made uh, for next week between Hobbs and Wardlow. So we're getting a rerun of that once again. Big beefy boys battering each other to quote Ross Tweddle, <laughs> David Hasselhoff on <laughs> AEW next week. I like it when the big beefy boys do a big fight. Oh, me too. I like a big flippy flippy. Yeah. I'm also a big fan of a beefy beefy. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's Re nice to have the... Wrestling is a smorgasbord. It, it, it is a buffet. Is. It is. It's like the ham... The ham boards. The, <laughs> I don't boards. even know. I'm not with it this morning, What's Tom. Board, I don't darling? know. You know what? You get ham and cheese board. What are they called? <laughs> is that smorgas... Is that smorgasbord? <laughs> The ham and cheese board. I don't know. <laughs> it's like that. Cheese grommet. Cheese grommet. Hey, Wallace and Gromit is, um, in, in non-wrestling -wrestling related news, uh, Wallace and Gromit is now canon with Star Wars. Yes, it is, with yes. Ardman, uh, Ardman doing the Star Wars vision stuff this yeah. time. I'm excited. And, and, and if you look in the background on one of the clips, you see no. the oven from a grand day out. I didn't even know that. Stick it up there. I know it's not wrestling, but stick it up there. That's amazing. It's the oven from the oh, Grand Day Out. That was buzzing. Wallace oh. and Gromit is canon with Star Wars. I'm happy with that. What a time to be alive. Um, that's one dream, to have a Wallace and Gromit cross Say, with Star Wars. Where? What another? Uh, we need another dream. Maybe we another do. dream match. We need another dream match. Yesterday, we talked, well, you guys talked about Gunter versus Brock Lesnar being potentially penciled in for SummerSlam. Wrestling Observer Radio report that WWE are adding another dream match to that show as they plan to hold off on Becky Lynch versus Trish Stratus until August. Trish turned on Becky Lynch at the conclusion of their tag team title match on Raw this past Monday, facilitating a heel turn for Trish. I think it's something that we've, we're have waiting for for a little while at least anyway. And there have been rumors that we'd seen this match, we'd see this match take place for several months before, and now it looks like it'll be part of SummerSlam in Detroit. So you, so we've got between now, April, May, June, July, August, so we've got four months. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know what? They've they've strung out stories longer. Yeah, no, <laughs> I don't absolutely. think you necessarily need to tell that story week to week. No, agreed. Absolutely agreed. I think you're right there. Uh, maybe just sporadically throw out, but at least in those moments have big things happen where it feels like it's all earned and then the blow off at SummerSlam. Uh, let it just be a big old good one. I think you have Trish sort of reference it. Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, Becky reference it maybe next week mm -hmm. uh, and then have a baddie come out and go, ah, you're rubbish. You got beaten up by Trish. Yep. That gives like a little mini feud for Becky for a bit. Yep. And then Becky can maybe lose that match because Trish can do a running out of pay per view and go, wah, yep. wah. Sounds good. And then by the time you've done that, it's nearly the summer anyway. It so certainly is. That's how you do it. You're welcome to it. Um, we'll have more wrestling <laughs> news throughout the day at cultaholic.com. Go tell your friends that Wallace and Gromit is Star Wars canon. Case, case. Love you. Bye.